Pivot tables are one of the best analytical tools around. And when using it with charts, it's one of the easiest way to get your points across. Your chart titles need to guide your user to what the chart is all about. But what if your title changes a lot? In this video, I'll show you how to create dynamic chart titles so when your pivot table views change, the titles will adjust accordingly. So here I'm in this worksheet. It's got a lot of things going on right now. I've got my source table here. I've got a pivot table here, a slicer. And over here, this is the dynamic part of the title. So if I select just A, you notice that all it has is just A right here. If I select Control, press the Control key, maybe I want A, F, and K, that will change dynamically to just look for the names that have A, F, and K in the title. So let's see how we can do this. And I'll start from scratch. I'll just copy my source table here and kind of go through the whole process of how we can create something like this. So here I'm in a new worksheet. You notice that in this third column, it's just basically a function. And this function just takes the first letter of that name, Jeffrey. I'm gonna turn this into a table. Always makes it easier when you turn your range of data into a table. Press Control T. Yeah, my table does have headers, click OK. And now it's a table. Now I'll create a pivot table out of this. You don't necessarily need to create a pivot table out of this, but I like to kind of show it because you got two views about it. One in, one in a table view and one for a chart view. Let's put it in the existing worksheet over here. Put it right over here. Click, OK, press enter, click OK. I'll just put name in the rows and maybe quantity and it'll sum up the quantity. Double click that to auto fit there and put a slicer for this. So let's use a slicer for our first letter. Select that, right click, and we're gonna add a slicer. And so let's put a slicer there. This, once I click and activate it, go to slicer, maybe make it uh, more than one column, maybe make it smaller. Oh, that's too small. Maybe five is enough. So I've got my slicer there and I want to create my chart. So I'll select that and go under design. Oops, maybe go under the pivot chart here, select that and let's do a column chart. Column chart is better when you've got so much data there. Click OK and look at that, that's a lot of data. So we don't really need to close this, make this a little bit longer so we can see it later. So you know this is a lot of data so it's not usually it's usually you want to kind of you usually want to shrink it. Also I don't need these because it's going to clutter up the space here so I'll just select on the analyze part, field buttons, hide all and just hide those. All right so let's make this a little bit let's make this chart area a little bit smaller because when I put that other text in there I need it. So to incorporate this what I would really do need is another pivot table and um, the easiest way to do it is just make a copy of this pivot, pivot table. And I'll just kind of select this Control C to copy, put it over here, Control V to paste, and I'll adjust this. Now, since I create a slicer off of this, this pivot, it will control this one too. So if I select that, you'll notice that it changes it, right? So that's kind of nice there. Unfilter that. Now I need to change the field list. What I need to do here is just change the way that it looks. So right click, show field list, and I don't need that, and I don't need that. All I need to do is bring the first letter in to my columns, right? So it kind of shows up. See all the first letters show up in the column? If I select H, it just shows up there. I don't need this grand total. Right click it and remove grand total. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this put this over here somewhere else. Control X to cut. Let's put it up here. Control V to paste. And I need a function here. So what I'm gonna do is I need a function that looks at that cell, that, those range of cells when it gets populated, let's say I have F G. I press the control key M I, I J. It adds all those up together or concatenates all those up together. And the function that we can use is called text join. So it's called text join, select that one. And the delimiter I want to use, I want to use a comma. That's my delimiter. I'll put a space there because I want to have the space before and after the um, selections. Ignore empty text? Yes, because I'm going to select oh, the, this whole row number two. So it's going to ignore any empty text. Now, what do I want? I want just row two. So I press two, colon two. So it's gonna select all of row two, close parentheses, press enter, and now you notice that it's given me those letters. So if I select A, so A is only up. If I unfilter it, all of that shows up. And so how does that come into play? I need to add a new text box here. Close this and go to insert text, text box, Select a good size amount there. At select it's active, go into the formula bar, press equal, and select that cell, press enter, and I've got my letters there, right? Select B, 
B shows up, select H, H shows up. So that's your dynamic title. So now what I can do is I can change this, right? I'll just say, double click that, names that begin with, and then maybe align that. And now when I change it, unfilter that, it shows all of that. Select A or press Control, G, M. There's my dynamic title and it shows up there. Now that's how you create a dynamic title by just choosing your selections on your slicer. If I didn't want to show this part, I can always hide these rows, select those rows, right click and then hide. And so I don't have to worry about those rows, but now I can have my size slicer dynamically select my title heading. And now we got our dynamic chart title based on our slicer selections. So I hope this video showed you a way how you use slicers to change your chart titles dynamically or maybe spark some ideas on how to use it in other cases. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share it with others. Thanks for watching.